In about 60 seconds, I want to take you all into the center of this court. First, I just wanted to ask you, keep your eyes open. If you ignore what I say, but just look around at the people that we pass by today. If you look at the stones, if you just look and listen, you'll have an amazing tour. When we get down there, we're standing outside of the entrance of a place where millions upon millions of people have dreamed of coming to the church and where obviously we see thousands of people. Welcome to the church. For those of you who want to go inside and get your sister, I'm sure this is a place on the idea and sex. If you want to find out what it is on the church, you can Muhammad and the Trinity together. Muhammad is the prophet, he is not the God, you know. Trinity and Torah is no writing. And, but it's nothing. It is, for me, it is there. It should be not there. Yeah. Uh, because Jewish people want to go and win and win in war, and this was the war. So here they come, and everybody has their own ritual, but majorly, whatever reason, one reason, be good to yourself first and to others. Okay. And who's, uh, one's religion is his behavior, not what he does. I'm Muslim, but I'm open to Judaism, to Christianity, to Buddhism, you know, Hinduism, or say be good. But the worst thing that could be happen is discrimination. Because you are a Muslim, I'm not against you. You are a Jew, I'm not against you. I'm against you. I'm, no, no, no. Just be good. Along the Via Dolorosa, there's three spots. Where can you come from? When is that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, watch your ears. Those high-pitched sounds apparently they can take years off your ears. It's an interesting question. According to the last census, 2000. Not, not around 2000, exactly 2000. Interesting number. According to the last two census before that, there were exactly 2000 Armenians in the city during the census. <laughs> two brothers. Two brothers inherit a farm. This is long before the walls of the city, any of this exists. There's fields here. These two brothers decide amongst themselves to split. They decide that they'll work all the land together. And then when it comes to harvest time, they'll take the harvest and they'll split it to make it fair right down the middle, half and half. Well, time passes and things change for these two brothers as it does for each of us in our lives. One of the brothers, he gets married, he's got some kids. The other brother, he's living the bachelor lifestyle. Guys, you know what this feels like when you leave your socks on the floor and no one tells you to pick them up? Heaven alone. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the guy with all the kids, one year after harvest. It's been a great harvest that year. And he looks out at all the crop in his storehouse and he says, you know what? This is wrong. We said we were going to do it fairly and split it half and half. But for me to take half isn't fair. My kids will take care of me when I'm older. Kids, by the way, that is part of your responsibility. <laughs> my kids will take care of me when I'm older. Who will take care of my brother? He needs more now so he can invest for his future. The other brother, the same night, is thinking to himself, how can I take half? This isn't fair. I'm going to tell my brother that he needs to take more because he's got to feed his kids. But he thinks that his brother, he'll never go for it. Each of these brothers goes out into the storehouse, each of their own storehouses in the middle of the night, fills up two of the heaviest bags they can carry. One goes down across the valley, the other goes over the top, dumps out all the stuff from their bags, walks home feeling fully satisfied. But the next morning they come out and look at their storehouses and there's exactly the same amount. So they do the same thing again, except this time they load up the donkeys. Maybe it's just too little, they can't see the difference. The third night, both of these brothers getting frustrated. It feels like they keep taking it away to give more to their brother, but, but it feels like they still have way more than what they need. So what do they do? They load up the cart on the back of the donkey. They fill up the cart. Now they're clanking and making so much noise at night. And as they pass through the two different valleys, they go over to see what's making so much noise. The moment the two brothers see each other, they realize exactly what's going on. The two, they come together, they hug, they kiss, they embrace. 